Hawashai is going to meet you here, the nations, as an angelic force to fight you face to face. And uh, he's going to put that work to you. A lot of you are going to be getting killed by those uh, laser beams from the Chariot of the Most High, which people ignorantly refer to as so-called UFOs. And uh, Slakia. And the Most High is going to have to put the spirit on you heathens to fight because you're going to be a durst afraid to fight. And not just that, not just are you going to be getting uh, hit with those uh, laser beams from the chariot, but you're also going to be getting hit by these nuclear missiles as well. Because nuclear missiles are going to be shot to the four corners of the globe and a lot are going to hit in that Middle Eastern region. Actually, I might as well just get uh, that in second Esdras. Second Esdras 13, I think it's about verse 6. Khan. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it, this uh, great chariot that Yahawashai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, is going to return in, Salakia. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. It's going to be so massive that uh, this, it's going to block out the sky. After this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together, that northern army in, um, in that barren and desolate wasteland, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, the Valley of Decision, which were gathered together to su subdue him, were sore afraid, and yet durst fight, because again, Yahweh Ba Hashim is going to have to put the spirit on you heathens to fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war, because Yahweh is returning as an angelic force. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, those laser beams from the chariot, that fervent heat that's just going to turn people into dust, smoke. Verse 11, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight the armies of the heathen nations and burned them up every one so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid so with this video i hope you sincere akim were edified just keep pushing this word. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity. And as always, I'm going to say a Baba Ball, Kwame Asharala. Till next time, Shalom.